So you want to learn how to style your bookshelf? Well, you have come to the right place, my friend, because in this video, I am going to tell you and show you exactly how I style this bookshelf right here. So if you're interested in learning how to make your bookcase look stunning and how to use the right accessories, then keep watching. What's up you guys? My name is Sandra. I am an interior designer and if you are new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Enjoy the fam! that I'm starting to grow. I make videos for anyone who's interested in becoming an interior designer and showing you guys what it takes as well as videos giving advice and decor tips for all you people out there. And a little bit of fitness on the side because design and fitness are my two passions. So I'm going to tell you how I'm going to structure this video. First, I'm going to tell you what ingredients you're going to need. Second, I'm going to give out some tips and advice on how to make the bookshelf look nice. And then lastly, I'm going to show you exactly how I style this bookshelf and the steps that you need to take. Alright, so moving on to the ingredients. I feel like this is a cooking show. Ingredients. So first off, you're going to need books. It could be your favorite books, it could be, you know, just books that you want to display because they look pretty, um, but you're going to need books. So moving on to the second ingredient, which is objects of interest. That could be sculptural items, that could be, you know, bookends, um, that could be little accessories that mean a lot to you and that you want to show off. So as an example, I have this little camel as an object of interest. It's really cute and just funky and I, I would want to display it because it's hand carved. So moving on to the third item, which is photo frames or artwork. You could have either or. Um, personally, I don't really like to mix those two because, well, I mean, you can if they do have a cohesive look. But that's just me. Like, it's either artwork or photographs. <laughs> Fourth ingredient is botanicals or succulents. Now, I don't really have a succulent to show you, so I'm just going to put an example right here. And the last thing is vases or bowls. So, as an example, a vase, and you got botanicals in the vase, so two in one. Um, or maybe you just want to display your pretty vases or bowls. Alright, so now I'm moving on to the tips and pointers that I'm going to give you. So starting with tip number one, which is pair different height objects. So for example, this photograph or this photo frame and this vase are about the same height. So I wouldn't want to put them next to each other. What I would want to do is move the vase to the other side, separate the vase from the photo frame, and then maybe put like a small ob object or accessory next to the photo frame or the vase. Now, which leads me to my next tip, which is pair items in groups of three. Um, I don't really have a good reason to explain why, I just know that it's visually appealing to the eye. Alright, so now I'm moving on to tip number three, which is pair vertical items with horizontal items. So, for example, I got this vase and I got this book. So what I want to do is flip the book to be horizontal and then have the vase vertical. It just, again, creates a nice visual interest to your bookshelf. And now moving on to my last tip, which is if you have a lot of books and it has too much color, too much pattern going on. So what I kind of like to do is when there's too much going on in the books is instead of having the book face you, like you can see the title of the book, flip it to the other side so all you see is the pages and that kind of eliminates the all the color that's going on and just creates like a nice visual interest again this is all right so now moving on to the part of the video where i'm sure you've been dying to see so i created this nice little snippet to show you and break down the steps that i took to style the bookcase so starting with step number one is i placed the books so as you can see, I kind of staggered the books. So I have some that are horizontally and I have one that's vertically. Um, and I kind of changed the positions of where they are. You don't want the books to all line up in the same position and the same side because then it just doesn't look any nice and it doesn't have any visual appeal to it. So next up is you place the big items, um, which in this case, I chose artwork. Um, you can do vases or big sculptural items, but I like to move on to artwork and see where it's going to look. So I took the same method as the books and I kind of staggered them because you don't want them to be so close to each other and you want to spread the art pieces out. So the third step is I put the remaining of the big pieces on there, um, which could be succulents, vases, big sculptural items, um, 
So what I kind of did here is I filled in the gaps that were remaining in a way. And the last step is the small final accessories. That second shelf was missing something so I put a little chain accessory on top of the horizontal books. I added book ends where the books were vertically and then added this nice sculptural element on top of the horizontal books. And then for the last shelf, I have that big sculptural item and that artwork. Because those two are about the same height, I added a tiny succulent just to separate them. And again, they're paired in groups of three. So now I'm gonna show you how I took that same concept and applied it to these floating shelves. So now moving on to styling a nightstand. I actually had a request from one of my subscribers to show this, so thank you. Um, you kind of inspired this video to happen. So. How I style nightstands, I don't like to put a lot of accessories there and I like to keep it very minimal because you already have, you know, a table lamp there and I'm sure you put maybe a glass of water or your glasses. So what I did here is I placed in a book. It could be, you know, your favorite book that you like to read at night so it's easily accessible for you to grab it and read it. Um, and I just put a nice small photo frame on top of it and just added a succulent because adding greenery to any styling element just makes it so so lively and fresh. Now if you're looking at your nightstand and you still feel like it needs some pizzazz and it's something to bring life to it, then what you can do is hang an art piece above your nightstand. Now you can do this if you don't have a big bulky table lamp to block off the, the artwork. If it's like thin and kind of sculptural, then you can get away with it. Or what you can do instead of artwork is maybe hang a mirror above the nightstand. It adds some depth to the room and will really bounce off more light into the space. Um, so I would only really recommend this if you have a tall headboard or if you have a, a canopy bed. Otherwise, I feel like it would look a little unbalanced to have a short bed and then tall mirrors above the nightstand. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I hope you got some good informative tips and pointers on how to style your bookshelf. And please share with me what you did, if this video helped you. I would love to see your bookshelf, your nightstand, or whatever it is that you styled. Um, DM me on Instagram, or you can comment down below in the comment section and let me know your thoughts. And yeah, that is it. I will see you guys in another Design Tuesday with your girl. Bye!